Hi equestrian friends, it's me Lisa the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to today's video. And we're in my kitchen. Can you tell we're in my kitchen? I haven't made a video in a long time actually of me in my kitchen. So today I thought it would be fun to bake something for you. Well, not really for you, but I'm gonna show you how to make your own homemade horse treats. That's what's coming up right now. I love giving treats to my horses. They love taking the treats that I give them. And while my horses might get treats once in a while, it's not all the time. But even with that, if you buy horse treats, they can be really expensive, especially for the fancy ones, which sometimes I will buy, but having two horses again, that means there's more treats. And with Pleasant, he has some dental issues, so he can't have like really hard, crunchy horse treats. I don't know why I'm using my hands, but he is not able to chew like most horses. So I like to have a soft treat for him. So I decided to come up with a recipe for a soft homemade horse treat, mainly for Pleasant, but Frisbee likes them too. So let's make some horse treats. All right, so to make these treats, there are just a few ingredients that you're going to need. You're gonna need some applesauce, which you can use the unsweetened applesauce if you want to keep it sugar-free, but we're gonna be putting molasses and sugar in it, so molasses, flour, brown sugar, regular sugar, and flax. <laughs> and the flax is in this bucket because I keep the flax out in the barn because that's usually when I feed it to the horses, but I took some inside so I can make these horse treats. So this flax is golden ground flax and it is from Triple Crown. Triple Crown feeds is what I use for my horses and they both get the Triple Crown Senior, which seems to be the best product that I found for my horses. You'll also need a muffin tin. This is a little small muffin tin, but this is perfect for making the horse treats. Okay, we know what the ingredients are. Let's make some horse treats. So these horse treats are baked. So the first thing you wanna do is set your oven to 350 degrees. All right, now I've gathered all of my supplies. So now we are going to make some horse treats. So the first thing I need is my mixing bowl and I'm going to add the flax. So this is what the flax looks like. And the recipe I'm making calls for four cups of flax. One, two, three, and four. This is why I brought the flax in from the barn because the triple crown flax, when you buy it, you buy it in a 25 pound bag. It's a lot more expensive to buy it just in a bag. So I prefer to buy it in the huge container. Then I just borrow some to make the horse treats with. Okay, I have four cups of ground flax in my bowl. Then I'm going to add a half a cup of flour. Then I'm gonna add a half a cup of brown sugar. And when you're storing your brown sugar, it helps if you get one with a Ziploc bag because that's just really nice and it'll help keep your brown sugar fresh. Then get as much air out of it as you can before sealing it, maybe. Then I put it in an airtight container so that it stays fresh and it doesn't get all hard. Just an extra tip. Then we're gonna add a little bit of granulated or white sugar. Then a couple twists of the Himalayan rock salt. Next, we're gonna add a cup of applesauce. And then we're going to add one cup of molasses. Then 
And obviously this is not a sugar-free recipe for horse treats. There are lots of sugar-free treats you can make. I actually have made sugar-free horse treats in the past for Frisbee and they seem to like them really well. So you could look at the video that I have showing you how to make sugar-free horse treats or you can be like me and make sugar-full horse treats. I'm sure your horses would like either way, but today we're making horse treats that do have sugar in them and molasses. So my horses like sugar. All right, so now I'm just blending all of the ingredients together. It's really not that challenging. You don't need to use a mixer or anything. You can just use a big spoon like I'm doing. It's pretty easy to form into a ball, but we're gonna be putting it in our muffin tins. All right, that is just about all mixed up. Okay, so I have my well-greased muffin tin, and then I'm just gonna use a spoon to spoon the dough into the muffin cups. So that is 24 horse treats and I still have plenty of the dough left that I can probably make at least another 12 more. We'll find out, but I'm going to stick these in the oven and then come back and show you what it's like when they're done. All right, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees and now the horse treats are going in the oven. And I'm going to set my timer for about 25 minutes and then they should be all done. Now I have to find something to do for 25 minutes. All right, so it's been 25 minutes. It's time to take the horse treats out of the oven. See, they didn't rise up just like I promised. And now we'll put them on a cookie sheet so they can cool down before I give them to the horses. And most of them came out just fine. Just one that was left over. So you wanna make sure that these are completely cool before you feed them to your horse. Because if you gave him one of these right now, it would be way too hot. He'd burn his tongue, so that's just not a good idea. So just wait until they're completely cool. Then you can give your horse a treat. So there you have it, a easy recipe for making your own fancy horse treats at home which you can do relatively simply. It only took me about an hour to make the horse treats. That includes baking them and everything. So this is a nice alternative if you're looking for a treat for your horse and you can't get to like a Dover Saddlery or a feed store that has fancy treats and you have the stuff at home, you might as well make your own, right? One of the most important things to remember is to keep it in an airtight container. That will help to keep the horse treats soft so that you're able to break them up and feed them to your horse if your horse has dental issues like mine does. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY projects, product reviews, and horse related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.